in last lecture we have seen how four stroke diesel engine works okay which is the prime mover of our diesel generator okay. now prime mover is rotating alternator and alternator is producing electricity now we will see how this alternator functions or how it produces the electricity okay okay to produce electricity in the alternator either the coil is rotated through magnetic field or magnetic field is rotated and coil is stationary either of the two we have to do to produce electricity but in rotating magnetic field is used in case of an alternator we are rotating magnetic field okay we'll see why now if you see the rotor the construction of rotor okay rotor is rotating and we are getting the magnetic field ns ns you can see 120 degree apart the phase difference okay now this magnetic field is rotating and these armature coils are stationary okay and these armature coils are producing electricity it is called salient fold rotor okay now you can see the construction see these are the coils wound okay see the direction of the magnetic field see these are the direction of magnetic field and this is the current of magnetic field then it is fixed on the or rotor you can see now we got the magnetic field rotating magnetic field then we want three phase for three phase three coils are fitted okay 120 degree apart and that is why we get the three phase electricity and phase difference is 120 degree 360 divided by 3 is 120 <clears throat> now in one coil in this way we are getting the power okay or you can say current or anything power frequency is heard and rpm is m then formula is frequency is equal to pn divided by 120 if you want to produce electricity at 60 hertz or 50 hertz this is the formula f is equal to pn divided by 120 now and that will give us the speed as well see the star connection See, in three phase it is connected into star and this is the way the power we get in three phase 120 degree apart f is equal to p n divided by 120 or in four pole 4 n divided by 120. so 1800 so it depends on the pole p number of poles how many poles we are putting now if you put less poles what will happen this can split apart okay because of the force centrifugal force that is why we are putting more poles on this and that is how speed is reduced we have seen the formula so see we can see 400 rpm if we are put the more poles now these lamina these are stampings are placed because there is a eddy current formation in the same way this current is produced in coil the same way current will be produced in this metal it is also a metal right though it is semiconductor so to avoid that it is chopped or it is in the small stampings these are the stampings and that is why it's very small amount of current it can be neglected okay and that is the reason it is in those stampings now slip rings why slip rings are required to provide the current to these coils okay the coils rotor coils so how we produce uh, put it we put a small dc generator again this is called self excited and then we got a brushes brushes are slipping on the slip rings and the, because of that then it is passing the current to the coil and that is how we are getting the excitation or field in the rotor that is called automatic voltage regulator if you are putting this uh, alternator or generator on the same rotor that is called is the small which is provided in the field to this rotor now see we can see if you increase 
the voltage of this we are regulating the voltage it will increase okay and if you decrease it will decrease now we know how voltage is adjusted in the generator now we know both the parts engine as well as alternator how alternator functions we have just seen how engine functions we have seen in the last lecture now we will understand the systems inside the diesel engine because diesel engine is very complex system okay you can check all the scientists are saying this is very complex but still we have make it a reality now we will see what are the systems in the diesel engine air system coolant system lubrication oil system and fuel system these are the system in the diesel engine the engine whether it is your car engine your generator engine or any bigger engine the systems are same okay even your what do you call it the bigger big machines the system is same so just understand so we will go deeper into air system then coolant lubrication and fuel system all four systems we will see into details now first is the air system we'll see now you will ask me sir why why air is required for the diesel generator simply as like our this machine body what we are doing we are taking air inside using the oxygen okay and what we are to uh, means exhaling carbon dioxide in the same way diesel engine functions okay it is taking the air using the oxygen for what you know the triangle what is the triangle fire triangle what it is required to create fire first is fuel that is diesel then oxygen and then heat okay these three things are present now air is required for the blast okay we you must have seen for any fire to happen we need air or oxygen so that is why air system what is the function to supply air for complete combustion of fuel okay if air supply is less complete combustion will not happen if you have seen the old cars or old what do you call it trucks it will give you lot of smoke out of it so the reason is the complete combustion is not happening incomplete combustion so first is to supply air for complete combustion of fuel then to intake exhaust then what in last stroke to take exhaust gases out of engine hence divided into two parts okay suction and exhaling you know, what is how we do the exhaling the same way exhaust then air intake system and exhaust system two systems are there in air system we will go into details now air intake system requirements of air intake system air supply to the engine must be sufficient i told you for complete combustion of the fuel we need sufficient air otherwise what will happen it will get less like if there is a less oxygen in the air what will happen we suffocate we need more oxygen in the same way it is happening in the engine it it requires sufficient amount of air next is clean air like same way if we are inhaling the dirty air we feel suffocated or we don't feel we feel uneasy the same way it should be clean otherwise it can harm your engine then cool you will ask me why cool cool because cold air consists of more amount of oxygen okay the same way we are putting air conditioning in the same room if air conditioning is off what is happening you feel suffocated because the amount of oxygen in the air or in the hot air is less and that is why we are putting air conditioning and we are reducing temperature and the amount of oxygen goes up that is the reason it should be at the proper temperature or cool and then last is dry free of moisture if humidity goes high if you see the coastal region of your country there is the humidity levels are high and you feel little suffocated and that is why you need the conditioned air or dry air okay 
So in next video, we will go further. Thank you.